football, or soccer as it is known in the States, is extremely popular here. It has not caught on yet in the US, but it has legions of rabid fans all across Latin America. These fans can get so rowdy that it is commonly believed El Salvador and Honduras went to war in 1969 over scuffles in a soccer match. In reality, tensions between the two countries were already high. The match was merely one of the sparks that set them off. But these people are so passionate about this sport that the story seems plausible. Predictably, many of the soldiers here are fans. They have apparently divided themselves into Costa Rican and Nicaraguan teams and started playing each other. To play, you need a ball and two goals. The R&D team built and set up simple goals on the deck. I had absolutely no interest, but Chico insisted that I come and watch. It was not a proper match by any means. The pitch was not even regulation size, but the players and spectators alike got pretty excited. They banged empty cans and shouted cheers through the handmade megaphones. It almost felt like carnival. Huey, the referee, blew a whistle to start the match. The soldiers' training has left them in excellent physical shape, but they lacked the honed skills of professionals and their play was quite rough. Midway through, one of the men collided with another. They started shouting at one another, but Huey stepped in. I thought we had forsaken our countries, become one with the earth, he said, quoting Snake. We are not competing for national pride here, and we are not fighting for the good of any one country. This is not a war. Soccer is a peaceful sport, am I right? The soldiers nodded. They know the pain of war, and they share Snake's vision. Perhaps that is why all this resonates with them. Team Costa Rica was down a man, and somehow I was picked to fill in. Costa Rica had the advantage up until that point. I suppose Huey wanted to keep it balanced. The soldiers agreed with Huey's call. Maybe the Costa Rican players felt an even matchup would be more fun too. I could not be bothered to run at first, but chasing the ball out there in the hot sun, I was soon drenched in sweat. Before long, I found myself actively seeking out the ball, partially out of desperation. I picked up a loose ball deep on the opponent's side of the field. Even though he's Nicaraguan, Chico cheered me on, yelling, Go for it! Shoot! I launched that ball as hard as I could, only to have it blocked by the keeper. Disappointment only increased my determination. In the end, I didn't score a single goal, and Costa Rica gave up its lead. It was really close, though. We congratulated each other on a good match and sprawled out in the shade on the deck exhausted. The ocean breeze felt so nice on my sun-soaked body. Nuke came over. It is one of his favorite spots and stretched out next to me. And together, we watched fluffy white clouds drift lazily across the clear blue sky.